僕には勝てないよ Hey guys, it's me, Johnny Crimson 2000 here for part one of story mode for Tayo School. Um, I previously did the free mode, so now we're gonna go switch it up to story mode. In story mode, um, it's sort of, as you guys can see right here, you can pick from six different schools, and I'm gonna be starting with Tayo High School. I am planning on doing all of them, so don't worry. And I'm gonna do my best to read these, but they go by really quickly, so you have to forgive me. It has been one year since Hio Imawano or he, yeah, took control of Justice High in an effort to eventually rule Japan. Life has returned to normal for everyone and people have forgotten his evil schemes. Whew. No, oh, here's a big one. Batsu Hinata and Kiyosuke have graduated to the second grade. Since rescuing his mother, Batsu has had time to overcome the stress of changing schools. He has finally been able to assimilate into his new school and has even made friends with his classmates. One day, an athletic event they've been waiting for called the Atayo Pacific Athletica Competition was held. Crap. Students of Pacific High began to cause trouble and the event had to end early. Batsu. What's your problem? Intending to find out what's behind the vicious attack, Batsu and his friends began their investigation. Basically, there was a scuffle and the people from, or the students from Pacific High were to blame. And now they're trying to figure out, what the heck, man? <laughs> Why'd you guys start a fight? So here we go. This is terrible. Why? I can't believe it. What were those guys at Pacific High thinking? Hmm. We should pay a visit to Bowman. He may know something. Surprise! Greetings, Batsu Ichimonji and Kiyosuke Kagami. What? Who the heck are you? How do you know our names? He he he. Confused are you? Well, perhaps your friend Daigo Kazama can help. What? Daigo? What are you doing here? Is something wrong? Go. You know you love my voice overwork. And as you guys can tell, you uh, stick with one... Um, well, I guess you guys can see it. You stick with these characters, but throughout the story mode, you will be changing the characters um, that you can choose. I mean, you guys will see it eventually, but as more characters come in, you, you're given the option of choosing more than just the initial three. So unlike free mode, at some points in, this, in the story mode, you're given as many as six characters. Or I think it's like five or six characters that you can choose from, and you can choose from any of those um, characters. You can choose three, so that's a big difference from free mode. In that free mode, you know, you were you only chose three, and you stick, you stuck with those three throughout the entire mode. But anyway, Batsu, um, I said I was going to talk about the characters, and I'm going to be reading Batsu's bio from the instruction booklet. So Batsu is a hot-blooded, quarrelsome PE devotee. Batsu has a strong sense of justice. He is an expert street fighter. People tend to think he's rough, but he has a rarely seen gentle side. And I'm choosing Hinata, a bright, high-energy girl. Hinata allied with um, Batsu to solve the year-old mystery of the disappearances. Gifted in martial arts, she is a karate expert, an expert in all sports. And the third member of our team is Kiyosuke. This mysterious, cool-headed boy cooperates with Batsu while hiding a secret. He possesses magnificent fighting techniques and makes sport of his opponents. So there you go. Um, I'm gonna... Of course, as you guys know, this is the students from Tayo High School. And basically, the story mode, the way that it works is that there are six different teams, I guess, or six different schools that you get to pick, and each one kind of goes through the story mode. Uh, or rather, they go through their version of story mode. Um, so each time we pick a new school, you guys will see a slightly more detail of what the story actually occurred. You know, the bigger picture. And sometimes their own version of what the story um, went by. So here we go. Hee hee hee, is that the best you can do? I expected more from the Imawano family. Oh, crap. Shut up! Who on earth are you? Now, now, no need to be hasty. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of each other, assuming you survived that long. Wait, what was that all about? And why would Daigo turn on us like that? Something is seriously wrong with that guy. I got a really bad vibe from him. I don't think he's kidding around. First the ah, first of Pacific High incident, now this. What will happen next? His aura. It's... No, it can't be. Like I said, guys, I am not pressing the buttons. This is how fast these things go. <laughs> so, I'm sorry if I lag a little bit. So you're saying that someone deliberately made the scuffle happen and you had nothing to do with it? The mysterious man you just saw, 
He must be involved somehow. I'll go look for him and prove we are innocent. Okay, we'll have to cooperate with them. In the meantime, let's conduct a different investigation and see what fudge. <laughs> Wait a minute, I need to talk to you. Huh? Oh, Akira. You're not going to believe this, but your brother just... Enough! Don't talk anymore. Akira, what's the matter? Batsu, I thought you were my friend, but... How dare you do that to us? It's so cowardly to attack a girl without warning. But wait, I don't understand. Please try to calm down. You can't fool us again, Batsu Ichimonji. I will never forgive you. So basically what's going on, if you guys haven't picked up already, is Batsu's being blamed um, for something that he didn't do. Apparently there's been... There's... Or, I guess in this point of the story, somebody is going around... Or something's going on where people are blaming Batsu for doing something. We At this point, we don't really know what it is. But we'll soon find out. And now we're fighting the girls from the Seiyun High School. Or the Seiyun Girls High School. I think I'm saying that right. Let me refer to my notes, a.k.a. the instruction booklet. If you haven't figured out what my notes are. Come on, where are you? No. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get the... Yeah, Seijun... Seijun School. That's weird. In some parts it says Seijun Girls School, and in the others they just kind of just say Seijun School. But anyway, um... One thing I have to note about the story mode is that... Um... With story mode, you're... At certain points, you're given the option of kind of breaking away from the current path that you're in. Meaning that there are multiple... Are, there are multiple paths that you can go in story mode. And the reason why I'm saying this now is that in this particular fight, if I'm, I'm choosing the route where Batsu wins. If I let him lose, it'll go on a different path. And it's actually a way to unlock one of the secret characters. I am going to be doing it, but I'm first... Uh, I'm, I'm going to be showing you guys the different path that you can take um, from this battle. But first I'm going to do this path where... Uh, Batsu wins the match. I'm gonna go through the path the entire way until the final battle and then I'm gonna come back to this match right here and then let Batsu lose so that we can go on the different path so you guys can see all the different endings. And that's something really cool about it. I mean you don't really see that that much in fighting games where the story is that much involved. It kinda reminds me of um, the way that the story mode is set up, it kind of reminds me of if you guys have played Sonic Adventure, where each character in that game was um, kind of, you played their story mode, and it's all the same story, but it's kind of like their version of the story mode, and sometimes they saw certain things that the other characters didn't see, and, and you know, sometimes they would, each of the character's story would sometimes blend with each other, so you'd see the same cutscene over and over again. Oh, that you see the same cutscenes over and over again in that game. And that's the same thing with this game. So, in different schools that I choose in um, later parts, you'll be seeing sort of like the similar, uh, I guess, scenes occurring, just slightly different. Had enough? Are you thinking straight now? That power. I know you're the real Batsu. Then who was that Batsu we just met? What do you mean by real? We were just attacked by a guy who looks exactly like him. He never spoke. We believed it was Batsu, but suddenly he attacked us. He looked very determined. Looks just like him? Do you have a brother or something, Batsu? Nope. Not as far as I know. That means someone has been disguising himself as Batsu, but who is doing this and why? So the plot thickens. And now we're on to episode 3, and we're in Ziggy Amusement Park. What is it? You came back alone and now you want to talk? Well, make it quick. I'm busy. Just come with me. You'll know. Very impressive, Eureka. You actually brought them back successfully. Good job for someone as slow as you. Who are you? What do you want with us? Creepy girl. Well, just want to stop snooping around and mind your own business. You shouldn't worry about crap. Uh, what does that mean? I need more explanation. I'm saying I'll be in trouble if you don't stop your little investigation. 
it will be me who gets scolded, and I don't like that, so you'd better do as I say. That's not an explanation. Why would I listen to that? Tell me what you're up to. You, I finally found you. Where's Shoma? Tell me. Why should I? Did you did your jealousy bring you here? You know men find that very unattractive. I see. This is more complicated than I thought. Hmm, fine. Since you're here anyway, I'll deal with all of you at the same time. Creepy little girl. And I'm not going to be reading any of the other characters' um, bios. Because uh, I'm going to wait for their own uh, story mode to to read their bios before you guys start asking. But anyway, now we're me meeting Momo. Momo is this little girl. I don't think she's actually a little girl because she is in high school. Um, I mean, some of the endings show that she actually goes to the same high school as... Um, Shoma and Natsu and, Ro uh, and Roberto. Love that they have a, they have a name or a guy named Roberto. I just love saying his name. And Momo is a tennis player. So all the guys from uh, all the students from Gorin High, which is the high school from that Shoma and Natsu and Roberto go to, all have kind of like a sports theme. And Momo's theme is a tennis player. And she's like the most unlikely person that you'd think would be a evil character, but she really is. Like, you'll see, she's very manipulative, and um, you'll see more of her in the Gorin High School story, story mode. But basically, she's being um, accused of kind of taking Shoma away from Natsu and Roberto. That's why they came to look for him. And I'm not going to spoil it. But you guys will find out what uh, happened to Shoma in that playthrough. And yes, Momo did just own me, sadly enough. So now I'm going to take out Kiyosuke. And I'm going to own her back. Because I just can't have that. I just can't have her, you know, little girl that looks 14, own me on YouTube. Just can't happen. And I love these stages. We're like in a, a, a huge amusement park. And there's a, a panda that's, like, walking around in the background. I don't know. Well, I guess it is a, one of those guys that walks around amusement park dressed as animals. But, I mean, he's going all out. He's going, like, in all fours. That's dedication, man. <laughs> the thing about Momo is that she is so freaking quick sometimes. And you don't know where she's going to come, um, come from. So that's why sometimes I have a little bit of a hard time dealing with her. But she is no match for Kiyosuke and his super the five little slashy thingies that he likes to do. Which, if I refer back to my notes, is called the Super Cross Cutter. And now we have Batsu versus Eureka. Eureka is kind of like has a music theme and she kind of beats you up with her violin and her bow. I think that's, that's what it's called, right? Bow? And you, I remember this part because she like grabs me from behind and she like does this thing with her bow, and it just looks so painful. It, oh, it's coming! It's coming! Wait for it now! Wait for it! Not this part, obviously. It looks like one of those uh, Steven Seagal neck breaks. And the first time, um, I I forgot she could do that. And the first time I saw this, actually, when I was doing this play, there it is! There it is! Look at that! She just took her bow and like slit my throat. <laughs> anyway guys, it's the end of part one. I will see you in part two as we continue story mode um, in Taiyo High School.